Hey Camp Shaw, it's time for our next Animal Ambassador and this week we're talking about raccoons. So raccoons are mammals and they live for about two to three years in the wild. Males are called boars, females are called sows, and babies are called either kits or cubs. They can go by either name. Their footprints look like this. They look a lot like your handprint with really long fingers. And then they're mainly nocturnal, so they're mostly active and eating at night. They are omnivores. They'll eat a lot of different things. Some of the things that they'll eat in the wild are frogs, crayfish, rodents, insects, bird eggs, fruits, and plants. And they live throughout most of North America. And then they were also introduced into Europe and Japan. So they're not native there. They aren't naturally found there. Um, the only reason that they're there is because humans brought them there. And then they live in a variety of different places. They can live anywhere from forests to marshes to cities. And they make dens in trees or logs or anywhere that they can find that they think would be safe to make a den to stay in. So they're called generalists because they're not picky about what they eat or where they stay. So that's a term for that. And then females will have about two to five cubs once a year and the babies will stay with their mom for at least a few months and sometimes up to about a year old. They're pretty social. The moms and the babies stay together for a while, like I just said. And then also some females will sometimes group up with other females and some males will group up with other males. So they like to spend time with each other. If they live in a colder place, they will eat a lot of food in the summer and during the fall to stock up on fat and they do this so that they can sleep most of the winter. So they spend most of the winter in their dens sleeping, not really moving around too much to stay out of the cold until it gets warm in the spring and then they come out. They're really important to their ecosystems. They help to maintain healthy populations of other species of animals by keeping them under control. And then they're also really good at distributing seeds of plants so that plants can um, distribute their population and grow more of those plants. So I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about raccoons and now we're gonna do a craft. For today's craft, we're gonna make raccoon masks. So you're going to need two paper plates, some gray and black paint, a jar with water for the paint and then a paintbrush, a paper towel, a pencil, some scissors, and some glue. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is draw on your paper plate where you're going to cut the mask. So I drew a line halfway through the middle and then I made a mark for the nose and then for the eyes. So on one paper plate, you're going to cut that out. And then on your other paper plate, you wanna make two triangles that is going to go on top of the eyes and it's gonna be like the black part on the raccoon's eyes. everything cut out except for the eyes. To cut the eyes out, I'm gonna put the triangle masks on top of the rest of the mask. And I'm gonna cut out the eyes so that they're right on top of each other. Once you have everything cut out, you want to glue your triangles onto the regular mask. And then you're going to paint it. So you're going to paint the triangle parts black and the rest of it gray. And then you 
you just want to wait till it's dry and once mine is dry I'll show you the finished product. So it's done drying now and I decided to add some ears just because I thought it looked cute. And so here's my finished product and then if you want to add a piece of string to tie around or a little popsicle stick just like on the back to help you hold it up better, you can do that. And there you go.